Uh, my name is Laith Jazrawi. I'm chief of sports medicine here at NYU Langone Medical Center. Uh, I've been an orthopedic surgeon for 23 years now and chief of this division for the last 15 years. The cameras over the years have gotten much better, you know, and I think the quality with, you know, as you see with televisions getting better, similarly in orthopedics, we, you know, the camera systems are now at the 4K level, but they're still wired. We still got to plug in to an output and plug in into um, a light source. So we still are tethered by those two things. So the idea of this wireless technology to limit, uh, get rid of two of those tethers, one connecting into a box with a light source and another wire that's connecting into the actual TV. Um, now we have this wireless system that can, that can potentially make things a little easier for us without so many wires coming off the field. It's it's part of a research study where we're looking at um, compared to traditional wired arthroscopy, uh, whether there's benefits in terms of time savings. And we've we've also looked at the time, including sterilization and setup and whether the picture quality is as good as the regular current 4K imaging of the wired systems. Right. So the light source is on the actual camera itself. So that's one thing. You're not tethered to a box. And the the image is also a wireless image. So everything is in that one piece. We still have the shaver, which is another instrument we use to clean things up around the knee or other joint parts. That has a wire that connects into a box. And then we have the fluid, which comes in through tubing. So the idea is to start getting rid of these tethers that where we have to pass them off the table. And anytime you have to pass things off the table and connect them to something, you risk sterility issues. So uh, the idea of this is that, well, two of the things that tether you or you have to throw off and connect are now gone. The next thing to develop is the shaver system. You're not tethered to. And that the only thing that the nurse will have to throw off the field and to connect is the pump tubing. So you're saving time, you're making things more ergonomically efficient for the surgeon who doesn't have to worry about these wires and dragging them over the field as he moves the camera from different portals in the knee, shoulder, or elbow. Sure, it, 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 as, as this, this is still in its infancy in terms of it just got FDA approved. And right now what we're, getting it at is that the quality of the image right now, the efficiency is better than the standard system that we use. However, the image quality, that's what we're trying to perfect. And the image quality at this point is very close to the standard 4k. And that's the, what they're working on in the next iteration of the camera. I think as we continue to evolved technologically in the field of arthroscopy, this was a logical next step to go wireless. And the next step is to make everything as uh, wireless as possible or without any tethers. And this is just the next step towards that. It'll make things easier for the surgeon, easier for the staff, and then ultimately better outcomes for patients.